All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. It was only begun, son Yahweh Shah, man. And peace and blessings to you, beloved, in the new covenant. To your brothers and sisters, man. And to the believing Gentiles in the new covenant. <sighs> so, I got to redo this lesson, man, uh, through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And uh, I thought about this lesson earlier at work. I wasn't going to do it, but then, you know, I didn't want to be, I didn't want it to be lingering in my mind. All right. But examining this thing in you camps, whether some of y'all believe in the new covenant or not, this is going out to the entire nation that's simply looking over the context of our Bible. man. And I'm talking about beloved. Who understand. Now, Elder Raka, Tahar, all you guys who sold out, man, y'all sent thousands of brothers off teaching to hate your woman. All right. Y'all have brothers paranoid and they don't even know how to deal with the weaker vessel. All right. They don't understand through the scriptures, which I'm going to show y'all how when the Lord had favor upon a beloved one. OK, he also used women to either protect them, nurture them. OK, and for personal testimony, I was nurtured a lot. OK, on my mother's side. All right. That's called a testimony, man. You know, according to my mother, she told me that uh, she was protecting me from evil women. Now, I wasn't I, I shit. I don't remember. So I can't say she lying. But somebody with the spirit of envy and jealousy and hatred, they will automatically believe so. And that's the spirit because I just seen a football helmet that says stop the hate, man. All right. Some brothers like myself, I'm always getting called a pretty, pretty boy because y'all mad because my mom taught me how to have good hygiene. OK, y'all mad because you you want attention from women man and there's nothing wrong with that but y'all want attention from the wrong woman you don't want attention from a godly woman you don't you don't want attention from a woman who want to be a wife y'all looking for attention from thotties and, and uh harlots man why not think like an humble servant okay why not be like Sirac uh 26 man and I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to get that Okay, so I'm going to bring this out, man, because and hopefully this frees a lot of brothers' brain, man. Get those chains off y'all brain. Because just to be, just because a woman, especially in you one West camp, just because a woman is being nice to you and showing favor to you, man, that could be your Howard shot. That could be the Lord using her, man. Just like the Lord used Sarah to talk to Abraham. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to stop thinking like little ass boys, man. Just keep it 100. You hear me? So let's get Exodus two and one. Let's get the old covenant. So you guys, since you guys are so about the law, and there went a man of the house of Levi, and took to wife a daughter of Levi. Right. So these were this is a Levitical priest, and the woman conceived and bare a son, and when she saw him, that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. So off top, the beloved ones already hid. That's why in the translation it said the woman became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She saw she saw that he was a special baby and kept him hidden for three months. That's spiritual. Another testimony. Right. I had a Filipina sister when I was doing a How to Be a Daughter of Your Howard series. All right. The beloved one called me. And told me I was special. Another beloved woman. And uh, when I was in school, told me I was special my whole entire life. That's not because of me, obviously. It's because what the Lord puts favorites, he puts his spirit on beloved ones. The ones who's going to fear him, the one who's really going to walk this narrow. Right. As you beloveds already know, you do with the persecution, you know, at your, at your job and, you know, dealing with all kinds of all kinds of enemies. It just happened to me today. They wrote they wrote a beloved up because you got a sergeant uh being pr pricky, man. Then I got brothers talking about 
This was a while back. I'm the prophet of the thoughts. I got another brother talking about calm down shoddy vibes. Like last year from ITR. Talking about brothers gonna misconstrue it. Then I got other brothers talking about don't focus on the women. It's like, dude, none of you guys saw the whole matter. Any of you dudes that knew my old FTW page, you knew I taught through the Holy Spirit a plethora of topics, man. Parables, new covenant. I wouldn't. I wouldn't focus on one thing. But see, a lot of you brothers, you secretly have the spirit of hatred and envy for no reason. Let's get back to the lesson, man. Exodus, Exodus two and three. And when she could no longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes, and daubed it with slime and with pitch, and put the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. Now, you got to ask yourself, you know, why did she hide him three months? And his sister stood afar off to wit what would be done to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh, an African woman, came down to wash herself at the river. And her maidens, other females, walked along by the river's side. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. These are all female, all women. And these are Gentile women on top of that. So what y'all what y'all gonna tell Moses? Moses, you going off because the women favoring you. Rakar, you talking about prostitutes and uh Oh, you don't got no woman. Hold on, y'all. Hey, why are you in this trash can? He done told you stay out this. Boy, damn. No, nah, you not. No, nah, you not getting no belly rub. Uh huh. Anyways, man, let me turn this damn AC on, man. I t tripped out. I don't know why he always wanna. It's a lot, y'all. But yeah, so these are all females. You dudes hear women, and y'all get upset. Why do you brothers get so upset, bro? Don't worry about the attention and validation. Don't worry about what happened in the past, man. Go in the scriptures, okay, especially in the New Covenant, and uh, see how the Lord use, uses vessels, man. And honestly, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, Hakim. I feel like if I'm not teaching... The shawties, bro, I ain't. I feel like I ain't even doing my job. Because I didn't allow brothers to convince me that I'm probably not in the spirit. But I got, no. So Exodus 2 and 6. And when she had opened it, she, and she, look, look, look. She saw the, chi the child, so like he was stuttering. And behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him. And said, this is one of the Hebrew's children. So she knew by looking at the baby. That it was a Hebrew children. Those those uh those Hermetic women, all right. A lot of them know. These people, these people outside of America know we are descendants of those people. All right, but I'm showing y'all in the scriptures how women had favor on godly men. You can't get mad at that. All right, you can't. If if let me, let me give you an example. If the Lord fed Elijah with ravens. Okay. Oh my God, bro. This is why I'm not over here. Why that damn stomping? My salakia, like bro. <sighs> if the Lord fed Elijah with ravens, okay. Y'all telling me Yahweh can't use a woman? That's a whole different. Y'all, y'all never, y'all never go in the new covenant when Christ Hamashiach for your new covenant brothers, which I am. Nobody talks about how he had compassion among the daughters of Jerusalem. Y'all never see Yahweh Shai automatically just up and just leave the female. Bro, it was balance. Exodus, Exodus 2 and 7. Then said to his sister, to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for thee, man? That's crazy because when you jump to verse 9, and Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. Right? So the Lord put the spirit 
on these African women to take care of Moses, who was a Levite. Okay, and the woman took the child and nursed it. And the child grew and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. So are y'all going to tell the Lord that Moses was going off? Because the females found favor in him because of the Lord. And she called his name Moses. And she said, because I drew him out of the water. And let's, let's see what the word Moses mean. Okay. Because many of you dudes, most of you men in this truth especially, are assholes, man. Y'all don't have the spirit of King David, let alone Christ. Y'all don't have the spirit of Galatians 5 and 22. Y'all don't have the spirit to really be a prince or a king. In the fear and love of the Heavenly Father. In your mindset. Okay. That's just like brothers getting upset. That. Uh, supernatural things are happening to certain beloved ones man. But you ain't fasting. You ain't been praying. You ain't been studying. You know. You haven't been putting in no effort. So yeah. Moses. It means drawn. Okay. He was drawn from what? The water man. Okay. And also check this out. Actually, no, I'm not going to read that because we know Moses had love for his people. All right. And that's another thing. All right. Yashala Milwaukee saying you hate your brother, bro. That's going off. I don't care about that proud street shit, bro. Anybody hating their brother. Right. They, yes. Jake vexed, vexed the hell out of us, man. But deep in, deep down inside, we don't hate our people. We hate the shit they do. Okay. Everybody constantly talking about the curses, the curses. Nobody read the blessings, though. None of y'all read the blessings. Y'all so old covenant, but nobody read the blessings. And then you damn sure don't give homage to the godly women. What the hell wrong with you, Jakes, bro? That's not fair to the sisters who's trying, bro. Well, let me get another example, man. Let's get Jehoshiba, bro. One of my favorite examples. Okay? Because... Y'all got brothers in here uh, all paranoid about the weaker vessel. Oh, nah, I come out in the truth because a woman being nice to me. That's not how, bro, you're a man. You're a man. M-A-N, bro. Yeah, how about you me how a shy made you to be attracted to a woman and vice versa? It's completely natural. Y'all made the things of the Lord so unnatural, which you can't because it's impossible. Okay. Oh, I, you focus on women. You focus on being a wife. But Yahweh Shai said, well, if you forsake everything, you're going to receive a hundredfold in this life and in the one to come. Yahweh Shai is against divorce. That's in Matthew 19. He's against adultery. That's Matthew 5. So what are we talking about? He said, bro, when he, was, when he was on the cross, remember, he looked at one of his disciples and Disciples and said, Behold, thy mother. Timothy said, You address the elder women as mothers. None of you meatheads bring this out, bro. What's up? What's up, man? I'm, I'm not, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. we not with the red pill, man. Blue pill, pink pill, black fish, blue fish, green fish. We're not doing that, bro. Brothers got wives and children. So in the scriptures, it's showing you. Even from personal testimony, the shawties, which are the godly women in my book, they show favor. You don't treat these women like any damn thing. Those are the, those are the real princesses, the queens. They don't, they don't get no type of, well, the Lord told Tabitha, she, she got a memorial. I can't say they, they don't get any type of glory. But they're humans, man. Okay. Let's get 2 Kings 11. And when Athaliah, a wicked woman, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. Now, most of you dudes, oh, that's Jezebel, man. All these women wicked, man. She killed all these children, man. Abortion going in. But what about Jehosheba? Total, total beloved woman. 744. Check the time, though. But Jehosheba, the daughter of King Joram, Sister of Ahaziah took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's son, which was slain. So a, a woman that's she's in the Lord, she feared the Lord, the Heavenly Father. Obviously, the Heavenly Father put it on Jehosheba 
to save Josiah. Example number two. And they hid him. It says even him and his nurse in the bedchamber from Athaliah so that he was not slain. So like my own mother, according to her testimony, she protected me from an evil woman. Okay. You know, she, I don't want to get too deep into the details, but it was some crazy ish going on. I didn't know this until I got older, man. Okay. And let me say this too. For a lot of you brothers in the past that was hating, man. Dude, y'all all supposedly studied the scriptures. Every single last one of y'all had a chance to go out and edify these sisters to help them get in order according to their foremothers, according to Yahweh Shah. Not just put a head wrap on, go in the old covenant camp, show, speak life into them, show them how to be a wife. Like, show them why it's joyful, why it's an honorable thing. It's not a damn slave thing. It's none of this crap. Y'all never show them Judith. You don't show them Esther. You don't show them Jehoshiba. You don't show them Tabitha, Dorcas. You don't show them Priscilla, like nothing. Okay? The Lord said a second matter of fact. Let's pause real quick, okay? Proving the spirit of balance. 2 Corinthians 6 and 18, it will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. He says sons and daughters is both, beloved, saith the Lord Almighty. So, when you go to 2 Kings 11, go back to 3. And he was hid with her. So like it. And he was hid with her head in the house of the Lord Yahweh six years. And Athaliah did reign over the land. So this whole time, this wicked demon, okay, this Jezebel, this, this she not even a Jezebel. Jezebel was an African Hamite woman, bro. This this was a wicked Israelite woman. Stop labeling every single wicked Israelite woman a Jezebel. Okay, she's not an Israelite woman, bro. Hold on, man. All right. And I'm going to keep it 100, man. A lot of you brothers, you have a street Italian mafia spirit. You got a military spirit on you, man. That's not, bro, that's not going to get you a tender and delicate woman. I'm not, I'm not speaking for all brothers. Okay? But y'all going to, I know I'm fat. Stop looking at me, man. But yeah, y'all going to stop going in these scriptures, man. And, 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 and. Not preaching heresy, man. All right. So, like, y'all preaching heresy. It is a, this, this, this is ridiculous. Second, Second Kings eleven. Actually, nah, that was a point. I'm gonna get Sarah. All right. Now, What's crazy, when you get Genesis 17 and 16, so y'all know how in the New Covenant, it calls the women the daughters of Sarah if you do this thing. I think that's in Peter, right? But the daughters of Sarah, the Lord blessed Sarah as we're going to prove. The Most High, just, he doesn't just deal with one, one damn vessel. He can do anything. He made that the talking ass, the talking donkey. Brother, you said ass. You talking about booty cheeks. I love booty, but I ain't talking about that ass. Stop being simple, man. And that's a problem. A lot of you guys, bro, I'm not talking ish. I'm just keeping it a billion. Bro, porn addictions, man. Why don't you why don't y'all desire desire love? You don't desire reverence or like a a legacy. Well, brother, you'll get women in the kingdom. Well, you gotta make the kingdom first, bro. So salvation not guaranteed, and you tell them, brothers. And sisters to hate the opposite sex because of for whatever reason. Okay. We already got the nation and the world against us, man. This is not a game. A lot of these people will kill us just for preaching the Bible, bro. A lot of these sisters are in pain because of you wicked men. Stop worrying about her. Oh, she going to use you. Be an asshole. Oh, don't be emotionally unavailable. Yeah, Christ wasn't like that, bro. Just like the brothers always say, meekness doesn't mean you're weak. Oh, I don't like nice guys. That's a foolish woman. 
That is, y'all are dealing with foolish women and you're trying to compare them to Sarah. You're trying to compare them to Ruth. You can't do that. Oh, well, there's no women like that. No. Y'all don't know how to deal with the weaker vessel in a gentle way. Y'all don't know how to guide them without feeling played or some, some retarded crap. But so lucky for, for being long-winded, man. You know, all, mom, all mama's boys now weak, bro. Genesis 17 and 15. And, you, and God said unto her, so like unto Abraham, as for Sarah, Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. All right. So the Lord. No, no, don't don't have sex, Abraham. That's too graphic. How did you guys, man? Yeah, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her, man. Just like just like Zerubbabel said in the Apocrypha. OK, women birth kings, man. Dudes go to work, get paper, Israelite or Gentile, to get a what? A woman, man. But the problem is, y'all not getting shawties. You ain't getting no shawty, though. Y'all getting them, them scallywags. That's the problem when it comes to this, man. All right? You don't have to be married to understand that. All right? I want to get the word uh, Sarah. So, Sarah, her name means what? Princess. Original name of Sarah, the wife of Abram or Abraham. Now, again, these are the four mothers of Hebrew women. But you have Gentile women, okay, who they're going to submit to the Lord too. It's only a small remnant, a small remnant of them, though. Okay, so that's example number three. It was crazy. We are going to Acts two, right? Acts two and twenty-seven. I was it uh. 7 and 22, Salakia. Yeah, 7 and 22. When Stephen was, when Stephen was running down the uh, the history to the Pharisees. These Pharisees knew they were Hebrew Israelites, these Sadducees. They knew all the history. I think even Josephus, he knew he was an Israelite. But let's back this up. So not only was Moses uh, anointed, Abraham was anointed, Right? Hamashiach was the is the anointed, the king of kings. Listen, in which time Moses was born and was exceeding fair. That means he was very, very handsome and nourished up in his father's house three months. So you what y'all y'all gonna call Moses a pretty boy? Let's go into a translation. Acts 7 and 20, NLT. At that time, Moses was born a beautiful child in God's eyes, man. His parents cared for him at home for three months. Nah, Ock, you spoiled. You got guys talking about some Jakes are spoiled, man. Go okay. So fair says what? Elegant of body. Okay, let's go into the strong. It says handsome, man. Fair. So, it, bro, it said Moses was exceeding. Okay, and it goes into exceeding godly. He braised him. So being a well-groomed man, however you may look, or a woman, that's godly. I never heard of what? Cleanliness is next to godliness. This is why in the physical, they tried to shame Jake for having their long locks like Samson. King David was handsome. Samson was handsome. Absalom was handsome. Even Saul, when he be before he became wicked, was handsome. So I just showed y'all three examples. I can give some more examples about how, matter of fact, nah, I got to get first. Matter of fact, nah, I got to get first statement 25, bro. Because I'm going to show y'all when it comes to this lot, y'all got to be able to discern everything through the scriptures. You, you basically got to be a walking Bible, man. So when I walked up to that girl, Named Alma, man. Very, 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 very beautiful woman. Okay? Beautiful Mama Sita, man. Cheeks on point. Body on point. Okay? Hold up. Alright? But guess what? I ran into her by accident. But the scriptures say the Lord directed your steps. And he declared unto man what? His thoughts, right? We should all know this. 
Nah, like I said, I walked in. We had a two-hour conversation, bro. We started talking about some personal, real things. Next thing you know, the beloved one, before she had a child, she started crying in front of me. I didn't look down on her. Woman, you been emotional and, oh, man, she trying to trick you. And I mean, I was, I was disappointed as far as just like, because she invited me to her church and everything, and um, I don't know. But the next day, I had a dream, okay, that she was setting everything on fire. So if, if that dream came from the Lord, okay, obviously, I felt like he was trying to tell me this woman is unstable. But I was in there because what? When you're in the Holy Spirit, even when we got the barbershop or wherever you at, the Lord can use you for anything. It's not about your outward appearance, what you got on. This new covenant is about the spirit, but I'm using the old covenant for specific examples. A lot of brothers and sisters read over read over this. And I'm giving my personal testimony about her crying in front of me. Okay, because a lot of you guys don't have compassion. And a lot of men, you don't have experience. I'm not talking shit. But when you don't experience real love and losing it, like I always say, circumstance, whether from circumstances or whatever, you don't know how that feels. The Lord designed, he just designed everything beautiful, okay? But a lot of you brothers, like I said, man, you know, y'all tweaking. But let's get 1 Samuel 25 to prove a point. And there was a man in Moan in Mayon whose possessions were in Carmel, and the man was very great. And he had 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goats, and he was sharing his sheep in Carmel. So most of you men... Hey, this brother, you know, he got his shit together, man. He got all these resources, whatever. But as we're going to read later on, the ball was a fool, man. He didn't have the most high through his son. Bro, if you don't have the God of Israel through his son on your side, on his good, on your good side, on his good side, so like you, nothing you have matters. I don't care how many wives you got, how many, how, how, uh, your good paying job. I don't care if you serve in the military. If you're not serving your Hawa your Hawa Shah in this Bible, you don't have a chance. Especially at especially at at, a, at a obtaining favor. Okay? Just like my other job at Sonic. I'm sorry for just being long with it. Just, just I got testimonies. I had a woman named Jaya, or I think her Hebrew is Jaya, whatever. J J A Y A. The whole front of the, the the front part of the restaurant over my old job were nothing but females. Okay, my manager straight up told me, you know, I was being a ladies' man and everything. She told me, she can tell you herself, I was protecting her. Okay, I wasn't being uh, a damn whoremonger, nothing, none of that shit. And, I, and I'm, the Lord bless me with looks. I, I don't really care. I do care, but I don't gloat in that type of stuff. That's not my character. Okay, but yeah, Jay had told me that, you know, the manager, a woman, let me get away with a lot of shit. Okay, sometimes you have a child might just put this spirit on people not to give you a hard time at the job or at school or at camp. Okay, and on top of that, you know, I, I fell a million, billion times, but I held my chastity, my integrity. While having the experiences of honor, I'd rather have that, like it says in Sirach, I'd rather have under, I'd rather have undefiled rewards than to be a homer and that know better. Like he's man, first Samuel twenty five and three, and the name, and the name of the man was Nabal, and the name of his wife Abigail, and she was a woman of good understanding. And of a beautiful countenance, man. So she was beautiful and had that had her brain. But the man was churlish and evil in his doings, and he was at the house of Caleb. So he was stupid. He was churlish. Okay. You gotta use discernment. Cause some some people, she was beautiful. I don't get to see by the beautiful woman. Okay. Graduate. If a woman was created to be beautiful, nigga, you're gonna have to man up. It's no way y'all brothers live this long, okay? And y'all don't know this, which is why I'm bringing it out, okay? And this, listen, man, what's more important is 
exalted in the blood, okay, in the resurrection. All right, from just crew. At the same time, when the Holy Spirit puts it on me, if it's on me, I'm gonna bring these out too to teach balance, to go into the law and testimony, to show examples. All right. And also to abide in your spirit, love thy own soul. But verse 18, then Abigail made haste and took 200 loaves and two bottles of wine and five sheep ready dressed and five measures of parched corn and a hundred clusters of raisins and 200 cakes of figs and laid them on asses. So this beautiful woman, right, because she saw King David. Remember, King David had enemies on all sides. King David was favored by Yahweh. Right, King David had compassion. He had love. He had mercy. He did commit adultery. He did kill. Okay, but he took the punishment um, honorably, and he was supposed to be put to death. To be honest with you, but that was David's. David's love was so so pure towards Saul, to the point to where he killed one of his soldiers, bruh, because he thought he was lying on him. Okay, most of you Israelites in these camps, well, Solomon prayed for wisdom, so that means I'm going to automatically get a thousand wives. No, it didn't work like that. No, bro. Just like in the script, in the new covenant, you seek the kingdom and all these things will be added to you. But what do you have to say? The kingdom is within you, too. You got to have that vibe. You got to have that sauce. You got, you can't be, uh, you know, all hateful with it, but you got to be confident in it, too. Okay, and she said unto her servants, "Go on before me. Behold, I come after you." But she told not her husband the ball. Most of you, most of you men. Okay. Oh, see, sister, she trying to trick me, and she trying to, which most women do this, but not all of them. Oh, she trying to trick me, and uh, uh sister, where your husband don't talk to me? A lot of these sisters have wicked, super evil ass husbands, man. Just like a lot of brothers have super evil uh, wives, man. And it was so as she rode on the ass, the donkey, for you uh, sensitive people. There's, there's the word ass. That she came down by the covert of the hill. And behold, David and his men came down against her and she met them. Now, David has said, surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow hath in the wilderness. So remember, King David kept the sheep, he kept everything he had out of the goodness of his heart. You know how people do you, uh, do you wrong and F you over? King David was dealing with that nonsense too, just like Yahweh Shai. You got to go through some stuff. You don't just get the favor all oh, because you, you're a pretty boy. No, you got to go through some shit. King David wasn't no punk. This dude killed the king. It's like it. King, I'm going to put some respect on his name and some love on it. King David, bro. Killed a lion with a with his bare hands. Killed Goliath. Like King David did amazing things. But his heart, let alone the heart of Yahweh Shai, the king of kings. These are righteous kings. These this is why they got favor from the women, bro. Not because no homo, because of my, my, my meat and all my athlete. It's deeper than that, man. Let's go for any brother. Okay, and I'm in real women who are mature and who have experienced this type of thing. There's very few of them. They understand this. Now, David had said, my bad, my bad, y'all. So that nothing was missed of all that pertain unto him. And he hath requited me evil for good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Every day I'll be ready to snap on these military brickheads, bro. Okay, they don't they don't have emotion. They don't well they do have emotion, but they're so used to being programmed, being in a job, like people don't have no type of love, no type of soul. This was happening back then. Okay. So so and more also do God unto the enemies of David. David had enemies. Okay. So he had to train, he had to learn how to fight. Psalms 144 and 1. Go read it. The Lord taught him how to fight. Okay, if I leave off, if I leave of all that pertain to him by the morning light 
any of that pisses, pisses against the wall. So he was ready to wipe everything out because David had indignation, righteous anger. Because that, that's, on, excuse my French, that's some whole ass shit. That's some whole ass shit. And a lot of brothers got that spirit, bro. I had a, I was helping a brother. I was help, let him in my crib and everything, man. All right, next thing you know, I got a hole. I got holes in my tire. The brother on the phone talking about I'm spoiled, man. I'm like, what the heck, bro? What is this? Okay, I had a couple sisters texting me, talking about how these men are jealous, man. Dude, y'all can't get mad, bro. I'm going out of my way to help the weaker vessel, man. Straight up, y'all brothers got bigger platforms, man, and wives. That don't make no sense. 23, when Abigail saw David, she hasted and lighted off the ass and fell before David on her face. Right? Because this is righteous. A wicked brother would kick her in her nose. Something, something atrocious. Like, that's... Bro, that shouldn't even be in your thoughts, bro. And bowed herself to the ground. You men... A lot of you men, you look down on humble women. A lot of you men like them bougie, wicked women. Like Ruby Rose and Meg Thee Stallions. Like, that ain't... No. Okay. And fell at his feet and said, Upon me, my Lord, upon me let this let this iniquity be. And let thy handmaid, I pray thee, speak in thine audience and hear the words in thy handmaid. All right. Let not my Lord, I pray thee, regard this man in Belial, even Nabal, for as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his, is his name. And folly is with him. But I, thine handmaid, saw not the young man of my Lord, whom thou didst send. Now a wicked man, especially especially at these jobs, they quick to fire somebody or, you know, they think somebody lying. That's because these most of these people don't have the spirit of God in them. They're of the world. All right. These women need righteous guidance through the Bible, man. It needs to heal them, not destroy them. Now, therefore, my Lord, as the Lord Yahweh liveth, and as thy soul liveth, seeing the Lord hath withholden thee from coming to shed blood, and from avenging thyself with thine own hand, now let thine enemies and they that seek evil to my Lord be as Nabal. So the woman was not rocking with the niggas, she was not rocking with the with the minions. That's why a lot of righteous sisters are, they listen to brothers in the Gospels, man. Okay. And even in the, in the world, he says, man, the Lord might have a brother, me or whoever. He might want a beloved to what? Be in the spirit of Yahweh Shah. You got to do all of this while um, working on your own salvation with fear and trembling. But he might have a, a one brother or two brothers minister to the women. Minister, minister to the brothers. You don't know how the Lord can use somebody, man. And now this blessing which thy handmaid hath brought unto my Lord, let it even be and given unto the young men that follow my Lord. I pray thee, forgive the trespass of thy handmaid, man. My own mother asked me for forgiveness, man. That shit broke me down to tears. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all, you, 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 bro. You men that's in the closet, bro, just come out, bro. Just come out. Y'all act like it's no women with sexual discipline either. For the Lord Yahweh will certainly make my Lord a sure house. Because what? My Lord fighteth the battles of the Lord. Man, y'all ain't heard that scripture, man. First Samuel 25 and 28. She said, because my Lord fighteth the battles of the Lord Yahweh. And evil hath not been found in thee all thy days, man. Yet a man is risen up to pursue thee. That's why women are more nurturing. They're more apt to protect the godly man. The innocent, because that's their nurturers. Okay? And to seek thy soul. But the soul of my Lord, talking to King David, shall be bound in the bundle of life. Is King David not written in the book of life? So is King David going off? No. With the Lord Yahweh thy God and the souls of thy enemies, them shall he sling out as out of the middle of a sling. 
And it shall come to pass when the Lord Yahweh shall have done to my Lord, right, according to all the good that he hath spoken concerning thee, and shall have appointed thee ruler over Israel. The, wick, the wicked men don't get favor. The Lord ain't finna give you no Proverbs 31, Asha, our wives. I mean, you don't have no love in your heart. You got no patience. You got no compassion. And a lot of you brothers, you don't, you don't want to have no families, no nothing, bro. This ain't got nothing to do with salvation, bro. Read the Bible. That's all I'm going to tell you at this point. Just read the Bible. Okay. That this shall be no grief unto thee, nor offense of heart unto my Lord, either that thou hast shed blood causeless, or that my Lord hath avenged himself, man. But when the Lord Yahweh shall have dealt well with my Lord, then remember thy handmaid. And David said to Abigail, so David listened this whole time. And know how to listen. Our women don't just all oh, stop that shit, man. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh God of Israel, which sent thee this day to meet me, man. Okay, I had a so-called black woman, you know, she said, uh, look at God, man. And then almost same thing. I said, damn, why am I in this building? She didn't even bro, she said, God, like her voice damn near left her. Her spirit left, then we left her body, bro. Because that was the Lord, man. And I re, I really rejoice because I, I care for them. A lot of us brothers, a lot of brothers care for them, but most brothers don't. Y'all think of them in a perverted way. You don't think of them in a big brother way or like trying to help them. You cannot complain about the weaker vessel being so out of order when nobody's going in the scriptures. Just speak the scriptures. The right women will come along. Okay, and blessed be thy advice. Nah, I don't be pillow talking. And blessed be thou, which hast kept me this day from shedding, from coming to shed blood, and from avenging myself with my own hand. For in very deed, as the Lord Yahweh God of Israel liveth, which hath kept me back from hurting thee, except thou hadst hasted and come to meet me, surely there had not been left unto Nabal. By the morning light, any that pisses against the wall. So King David was coming to slime. Bro, King David was coming to slime the ball out. So David received of her hand, right, shouty, that which she had brought him and said unto her, go up in peace to thine house. See, I have hearkened to thy voice. He listened and believed and have accepted thy person. That's very humbling beyond measure and Abigail came to Nabal and behold matter of fact I'm gonna skip that because Nabal he actually died when he heard about the news but um it says David marries Abigail right got him another Asha and when David heard that Nabal was dead he said blessed be the Lord Yahweh that hath pleaded the cause of my reproach from the hand of Nabal hath kept his servant from evil for the Lord Yahweh hath returned the wickedness of Nabal upon his own head and David sent and communed with Abigail to take her to him the wife man see that and then 2043 I'm gonna skip David also took Ahino and Jezreel and they were also both of them, both of them his wives so I brought her, I did this long lesson man just to show y'all, don't be so pessimistic and negative. But um, brought that off for edification purposes, man. All right, and I had to redo the lesson because I can't find it on Facebook. But again, uh, the godly women showed the Lord used women to. Uh, I don't know I'm entitled it, bro. But the Lord used women to protect the men, bro. Or I might title it, Women Show a Favor to Godly Men. I don't know. But with that being said, man, peace and blessings and shalom.